Hello, my wonderful friend. Let's talk about how to attract a woman deeply. The top seven tips to make a woman fall in love with you. Can you imagine looking into the eyes of a beautiful woman and knowing that she loves you? She knows everything about you and loves the real you, and she always will. Is that the kind of lasting love you're looking for? That's the dream, right? That's the ultimate relationship goal, isn't it? Well, if this is your goal, I have some good news for you. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to attract a woman deeply and make her fall in love with you. I'm actually going to be taking a little bit of a different approach with today's video. I get thousands of emails and comments and messages every single week and there's a pattern I get many of the exact same questions and so I wanted to make this video to help you understand the answers to those questions so that you can attract the love of your life and get her to fall helplessly hopelessly wonderfully in love with you so this is kind of a Q&A type style slash addressing your biggest questions type video so consider this your troubleshooting guide when it comes to love, relationships, and your most popular, most asked questions. Now make sure you stay with me to the end of this video because the last tip is probably the most shocking. It is seriously going to shock a lot of people. In addition to that, you need your questions answered, right? And it would be terrible if not knowing the answer to one of these things kept you from the love you deserve. So watch with me until the end of this video. Before we dive in, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. My name is Melanie. I'm a Christian dating coach for men and creator of Attracting Lasting Love Academy. I am your go-to place to learn how to find, attract, and keep the love of your life without mind games, tricks, or relationship drama. If you are looking for a loving, lasting relationship, then you're in the right place. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and go to coachmelanie.com to learn more. As we dive into how to attract a woman deeply and make her fall in love with you, there are two other videos that are going to help you so, so much with this. I'm going to put them in the description below. The first video looks like this. It's on the one thing that will make you irresistible to women. The other, it looks like this and it's 11 ways to melt a woman's heart. Pretty good stuff, right? Check them out through the link in the description below. Are you ready to learn how to attract a woman deeply and make her fall in love with you? Let's get started with tip number one. Tip number one is that seeing the signs she likes you is only the first step. One of the questions I get the very most often is, Melanie, I saw the signs that she liked me and I approached her and then all of a sudden it went really, really wrong. Have you ever been in that situation? First off, if you're seeing the signs she's interested, pat yourself on the back. That's a great first step and you should be proud of that. And by the way, if you're new here and you don't know what we're talking about, make sure you watch this video teaching you the body language of when a woman's attracted to you. It's good stuff, so you wanna make sure you see it. Again, back to the question though. It's good that you're seeing the signs she's interested in you. I want you to remember this though, that's only the first step. That is only step number one. It's great that you know how to read those signs, but if you don't know what to do next, you're going to struggle. You're really going to struggle to attract that woman. As a matter of fact, when I teach how to approach and how to attract women in my academy, there are four to five steps. So it's great that you know the first one and that you've become really good at that, but until you learn the other steps, you're going to struggle. This is why when I teach you those body language signs, I always remind you that, look, you can't rely just on that. Yes, you can see those signs, but if something happens to make her feel uncomfortable when you approach her or when you take her out or when you're on the date, it's not going to matter. That attraction will go away. So instead of looking at the small picture of, oh, I just saw the sign she was interested, you need to look at the big picture. You need to look at dating and relationships as a whole instead of one thing, oh, hey, does she like me? And again, that is something I teach you about more in my academy. That's really your ultimate resource, your ultimate go-to guide. And you can learn more about that in my free masterclass at coachmelanie.com slash masterclass. Okay, tip number two for how to attract a woman deeply and make her fall in love with you is never, never tell her you have feelings for her unless you've dated at least one month 
preferably closer to two months. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey, Melanie, I told her I had feelings for her and now she's like ghosting me. Why did that happen? Here's what you need to know. This legitimately scares women. Like it creeps them out. If she doesn't really know a guy and he's expressing feelings for her, that puts a whole lot of pressure on her. She's like, I don't even know you and you're telling me you have feelings for me. And that creeps women out. That makes you appear needy and creepy. And that's not the impression you want to give her, right? The reason this freaks her out is because you're showing an emotional closeness that doesn't exist yet. If you haven't been going out with her consistently for a while, there's no emotional closeness. Now, a lot of people misunderstand this and they think it'll be really cute because it was cute back in school. Well, you're adults now and it's not cute now. Now it puts a lot of pressure on her and it ruins what could be a really good relationship. So you do not ever want to tell her you have feelings for her unless you've been going out for one to two months. One of the biggest keys to attracting a woman in a way that makes her want a relationship with you is to make her feel safe when she's with you. She always needs to feel safe in the relationship just like you do. As a matter of fact, this one thing is so important that I have an entire module dedicated to this in my academy. It's that important to make her feel safe when she's with you. Moving at the right pace, doing things at the right time in the relationship is one of the best ways to make her feel safe and even more attracted to you. So don't tell her you have feelings for her unless you've been going out for at least a month, ideally two. Okay, my next tip for how to attract a woman deeply is going to blow your mind. The next thing you need to know is that relationships and attracting women is only difficult when you don't have the right tools when you don't know what you're doing. A question I get asked a lot is, Melanie, why do relationships have to be so hard? Why does this have to be so complicated? Have you ever felt that way? If you have, you are not alone. Here's how I want you to think about it. Let's pretend I was trying to chop down a tree and I was trying to do it with a plastic fork and I'd go at that tree with my plastic fork and I'd be exhausted, right? And I wouldn't make any progress. I might get some of the bark off, but that's about as far as I would get. I would not be able to accomplish my goal of ch cutting down this tree, right? And it would be incredibly frustrating. Well, if instead I had a chainsaw, I'd have that tree down in just a few minutes, right? Yes, it would take some effort. It really would, but it would be nowhere near the effort as trying to chop down a tree with a plastic fork. The same is true with relationships. If you feel like relationships are hard and exhausting and unfulfilling, it's because you don't have the right tools. You don't know the right way to handle a relationship to attract women. But when you do have the right tools, that's more like your chainsaw. You can go at it, you can accomplish your goal, have a whole lot more fun. Dating and relationships don't have to be difficult. As a matter of fact, this is the most exciting, fulfilling area of life. This is why I became a coach and why I created my academy, so that you can have the right tools. So instead of dating feeling like trying to chop down a tree with a plastic fork, it feels exciting and, and thrilling and yes, there's a little bit of effort, but it's nowhere near as much as trying to chop down a tree with a plastic fork. Do you see the difference there? When you have the right tools, you can finally have the success you want and deserve. The best thing you can do for your love life and really your ultimate overall happiness is to learn how to do this the right way. Go to coachmelanie.com slash masterclass and watch my free masterclass. That's where I share with you three of the most important secrets to finding, attracting, and keeping the love of your life. That's where I share more about my academy with you so that you can have that proven roadmap to get the love of your life. Go to coachmelanie.com slash masterclass. It's the best thing you can do for yourself, your love life, the love of your life. So do it. Stop putting it off and do it right now. Why in the world would you put it off when you could just have the answers up front? That doesn't make any sense. Give yourself this gift. My next tip for how to attract a woman deeply and make her fall in love with you is when your relationships don't last, it's because she doesn't think a relationship will work. 
let me explain. I get so many c comments and emails and questions from men saying, Melanie, it goes really good for a while and then it just stops. And I don't know why. Have you ever been in that situation where maybe you've been going out for a while or maybe you just met her and you've been texting and things have been going great or even you think the first date went amazing and then all of a sudden she tells you, well, I'm just, I'm not ready for a relationship or, well, maybe we should just be friends or maybe she just ghosts you. Maybe she even tells you, you have so much I'm looking for in a husband, but this just isn't a good time for me. Usually when women do this, it's because they're trying to save faith. The last thing they want to do is hurt you because they know you're an amazing man. They just don't see a relationship working. Now that doesn't mean a relationship wouldn't work, but if they can't see it working, then it doesn't matter. She doesn't want to hurt you any more than she has to, and she doesn't want to waste any more of your time. So this is what will cause her to pull away. So what's the solution? Because you don't want that to happen anymore, right? It becomes a vicious hamster wheel and it's painful. It's heartbreaking. The solution is that you need to learn how to attract a woman in a way that makes her want a lifelong relationship with you. It's one thing to be attractive to a woman. It's another thing to be attractive in a way that makes her say, I want to spend my life with him. I want to give my heart to him forever. And unless you know how to do that, you're not going to have any long-term relationships. I call this attracting her on the deepest level because she's so deeply attracted to you that she wants to spend her life by your side, making memories, showering you with kisses. And this is, again, something I teach you, this is exactly what I teach you how to do in my academy, and my free masterclass will teach you more about that. Okay, this tip is going to surprise a lot of people as well. Do not marry her in your mind before you actually marry her. If you have been through my academy, you've heard me say this a million times, right? Do not marry her before you marry her. Now, what does that mean? Have you ever been in that situation where you meet somebody cute and you get so excited and then you start thinking about the possibilities and how she probably loves everything you love and wouldn't a life together be so amazing? Have you ever done that? Pretty much everyone has done that. And it's not a bad thing. It's a very normal thing. However, what most people don't know is there's a big difference between infatuation and being in love with someone. Now, infatuation is the first stage. It's that chemical high that makes us go, oh, I'm in love, oh my goodness, I love this person so much. When in reality, it's just, it's literally brain chemicals. That's what's going on. Now, once the infatuation wears off, that's where the real deep love comes in. I don't have time to explain all that. That's something I do cover in my academy as well. Bottom line, most people think that, oh, they start daydreaming about a love with this person. And emotionally, they become married to them. It's very similar to like, let's say you're looking for a house. Have you ever heard someone and they're like, oh my goodness, I can see myself living there already. That's because emotionally, they've already moved into that house. People do that with relationships too. They emotionally marry someone. Now the problem is when you emotionally marry someone before you're actually married to them, you set yourself up for failure. You become needy. You become overly jealous. You become kind of clingy in the relationship. That puts way too much pressure on her because you're acting like she's your wife and she's not. <laughs> and it puts too much pressure on you because you're like, I can't lose her. She's my wife. So it makes the relationship uncomfortable and unbalanced. One of the best ways to avoid marrying her before you marry her is to take things slow. Actually get to know her before you decide she's the one for you. Infatuation makes everyone think that someone's the one for them. But until you get to know her, you can't actually be in love with her. You cannot be in love with someone you don't know. So rather than assuming she's the love of your life, which will push her away, get to know her first. Okay, quick question before we get to our next tip for how to attract her deeply. This is kind of the first time I've ever done a video where I answer the questions I get frequently in the form of tips. 
is this something you would like me to do again? There were a lot of questions I wanted to add to this, but there just wasn't enough time in the video. So if this is something you are enjoying, something you would like me to do again, comment question in the comments below. Your feedback really helps me as I'm putting together new material. So if you would like this, please comment question. And if there's a specific question you would like answered, make sure you leave it there as well for when I do it again in the future. Thank you so much again for your feedback. It helps so much more than you can imagine. Okay, our next tip for how to attract her deeply and make her fall in love with you is that finding the love of your life kind of comes in two parts. There are two aspects of this. Most people, when they're trying to find the love of their life, they only focus on finding her, on meeting her. And that's obviously really important, right? That's, that's one of the two things but they forget to focus on the other thing. And the other thing is that you have to actually know how to make her want a relationship with you when you do meet her. You can meet the love of your life all day long, but if you don't know what to do next and you don't know how to nurture that relationship and you don't know what you're doing, is not going to matter. This is one of the biggest mistakes I see men make. Remember when we talked earlier about Melanie, I saw the signs she was attracted to me and now she wants nothing to do with me. My approach didn't work. Well, it's because you only focused on one thing. Finding her is incredibly important, but you also need to knew, know what to do next. That is how you set yourself up for success. That's how you take the pressure off yourself and you stop feeling so nervous and uptight and instead you can attract her and enjoy the process of falling in love. So you must know what to do first or you will push her away. You don't wanna figure that out after you've met her. You wanna figure it out right now. Now there's one other thing I need to mention about finding her and this is gonna some people are not gonna be happy with this and that's okay, I totally understand because I've been there. <laughs> Sometimes we use this as a crutch. Sometimes we say, well, I just, I just haven't found the right one yet and we use it as an excuse to not find the right one, to not work on ourselves, to not put ourselves out there and push the limits of our comfort zone. What a lot of people don't know is the only way to expand your comfort zone is to do something that makes you uncomfortable and it's going to be uncomfortable and that's totally okay. However, when you do learn what to do, your comfort zone expands. There's a quote I absolutely love. Control helps to build confidence. Now, what does that mean? That means when we can control something, it builds our confidence in it. If you know how to present yourself, if you know what to say, if you know how to dress, if you know what to do, you can control that. That's confidence and it, because you start feeling comfortable in it because you're in control of it. Now, I obviously don't mean to control her. That's like toxic relationship 101. Control what you can control. Learn what to say, how to say it, how to ask her out, how to make her feel safe with you, how to increase her attraction, how to make her want a relationship with you. That's how you build your confidence and feel comfortable. And then you don't have to use that. Well, I'm still trying to find the right one as an excuse anymore. Okay, this tip is going to shock a lot of people. So pay close attention. This tip is that she will pull away from you if you reject her without knowing it. Have you ever been in that situation where you just, you start to feel her pull away and you, you don't know why? Like I mentioned earlier, it could be that she just doesn't see a relationship with you working. We already talked about the solution for that. However, sometimes it's that without even having a clue, you have slapped her in the face and she feels rejected and she's pulling away. Often it's not that she wasn't interested in you, it's that something happened without you knowing it that embarrassed her and hurt her and so she's pulling away. Now there are a couple of ways you can reject a woman without even realizing it. Some of the ways are, let's say she's um, flirting with you or being cute with you and you don't know what to do, so you freeze up or you act really cold. Or let's say she's sending the signs that she's interested in you, trying to get your attention, trying to be cute with you, and you don't make a move. Those things are rejection to a woman. Very similar to if you were to say, hey, do you wanna go out with me? And she were to say, no. That's what it feels like to her. It's a slap to the face, it embarrasses her, 
and she's she's hurt she's done just like it takes a lot of courage for you to flirt with a woman and for you to interact with someone you think is cute it takes a ton of courage for her too. And if she gets her hopes up and then you act cold or you act distance or you freeze up or you don't make a move, she goes, oh, he doesn't like me. Whoa, I feel really stupid. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. Sometimes you can save this situation. Sometimes you can't. Sometimes it's too late. This is why it's so important to learn what to do and increase your confidence before you meet her instead of when you're in the heat of the situation. The last thing you want is to unknowingly reject her. Because remember, women pursue men just like men pursue women, but she's a woman. It's going to be in a feminine way instead of a masculine way. And if it doesn't go good, it's rejection, she's hurt, she's done. So it's best to prepare yourself. One of my favorite quotes ever is when you're prepared, you don't need to fear. So prepare yourself now. Okay, so I need to talk about the elephant in the room for just a moment. I know that there are going to be a lot of trolls because they're always there who are going to comment and they're going to say, all she ever does is talk about her academy. Do you want to know why I talk about it a lot? I talk about it a lot because I have seen what it does. I have seen it transform men's lives. I have seen it work miracles. I have seen men who have felt discouraged and, and heartbroken and like maybe they would never have a relationship. I have seen them flip it around and flip it around fast. I have had men write to me, Melanie, I don't think there's any hope for me. Take my academy, apply what they learn. And then they're sending me, Hey, Melanie, I have the love of my life. I have seen the power of this. And if you had seen the power of something that you knew could change people's lives, wouldn't you want to share that with everyone? That's why I do what I do. That's why I love being a coach is I love helping you have the love that I know you deserve. There is a woman out there praying to meet you. And as a woman, I feel her pain. I want her to have the man of her dreams just as much as I want you to have the woman of your dreams. That's why I'm a coach. That's why I created my academy. And that's why I want everyone to know about it. So if you're starting this year wondering how in the world you can have that woman who respects you, that woman who loves you, that woman who you feel emotionally safe with and who you want to wake up next to for the rest of your life. If that's you right now, you need to watch my free masterclass and learn more about my academy. Just go to coachmelanie.com slash masterclass. The masterclass is completely free and you will get an introduction there about my academy, why it is so crazy effective and how it can help you as well. So don't waste any more time. I know I have so many people who tell me, oh yeah, I'm going to watch that someday. Don't wait, do it now. Coachmelanie.com slash masterclass. You deserve it. So do it, no more excuses, start now. Thank you so much for joining me in this video, my amazing friend. Be sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell if you haven't yet, and give me a big thumbs up. I wanna hear from you in the comments. Should I make another video like this one where I answer those most frequently asked questions. If I should, comment question to let me know. And as always, if you have any other questions or comments, leave those in the comments as well. Do you have a friend who needs to know these tips, who's looking to attract a woman deeply? If you do, share it with him. It's going to help him so much, right? And if you don't yet follow me on social media, there are links in the description below. I share exclusive content in my Instagram stories, so make sure you especially follow me on Instagram. Thank you so much again, my amazing friend. Remember to do yourself a favor and watch that masterclass. <laughs> and I will see you in the next video. Have an amazing day. Here we go. First episode back after holiday break. Feels good. I've missed this. You gotta have a break, you know, cause breaks are good, but you also need to get back to real life and it feels great, especially cause I like doing this. My mic, however, is feeling a little tired over here. Not quite ready, you know, not back in the swing, it's fine. <laughs> I kind of feel the same way.